Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is of course the quick look and review of the latest build of Windows 10 19H1 build uh, 18277 and this is what is um, was released today November 7, 2018 around 1 p.m. So what's uh, happened first of all the install once again extremely long install um, restarting several times before it actually goes through and um, basically this is what has been the case since um, the beginning of the uh, since the skip ahead and then the uh, skip ahead merge to fast ring they've been doing that every time even on my older acer which is kind of weird first problem that is kind of weird but i'll leave it as like that for now uh, activate windows here i've got an activation problem apparently uh, this was not there before this build today, 18277. So I don't know exactly what's happening. I went to the activation of um, Windows on the machine in the settings. And it told me, no, you don't have a valid digital license for this pro version. You need to have the home version. And it's like, um, well, I've been running the pro version on this thing for a long time. It always was activated, so I don't know what is happening i'll leave it like that could be a glitch with the build for now and if it never activates i'll see if i go to the home version instead of the pro version but uh so that it's kind of a weird glitch and you could see it here on the the uh, wallpaper activate windows go to settings to activate windows but i don't know we'll see i'll let it uh, i'll leave it alone maybe the next build is going to fix the problem maybe it's just a glitch uh, for um, my insider preview so uh, focus assist playing around with focus assist a little more if now you go to the settings and you go to uh, focus assist um, you will now see that there's a, a new setting for focus assist which is the you know do not disturb um, functionality of windows 10 basically um, one of the new sliders is when I'm using an app in full screen mode, you can turn on or off the, um, you know, automatic rules of when you get, uh, you know, notifications and stuff happening or not. So this is a new one. If you don't want to be disturbed while, for example, doing some gaming or any, you know, uh, thing that would actually, not just because gaming is here, but if you are using an app that really is in full screen it will actually prevent it from doing some types of notifications and so on you can choose whatever so this is a new notification system for the focused assist rules also uh, they're improving the action center the first thing you'll notice is that there's a slider on the uh, action center right here and that you can uh, actually move on for uh, here this the uh, brightness of the screen now it doesn't work on my screen because my screen is an external screen but it would work in the internal screen of the laptop and uh, also some new ways of doing some uh, settings so now you can actually go to notification settings easily without having to uh, <coughs> directly go to settings and then find notification settings and so on also, one interesting um, thing that I had not noticed, but it seems to work here. When you right click on the action center and you click the edit button, look at that. It actually uh, lets you edit what you want to pin or unpin on that screen uh, and what you can add if you want. So this is interesting because it wasn't there before and they don't really talk about it much for the, uh, you know, pinning or unpinning of different uh, action center things here. So uh, you can quickly rearrange pretty much everything. And um, you don't you don't really need to go to the action center to, to get all of that working, which is okay. It's kind of nice, you know. Uh, I'm a big, big user of the right click to do things. Uh, I think this could be something that would be um, useful as um, I, I tend to find that the uh, menus when you right click are really really useful in general uh, emoji 12 so if you're uh, looking for emojis um, basically the 
emoji panel is now going to um, simply uh, give you the new emoji 12 stuff so um, this is gonna be interesting so here I just activated the uh, the uh, magnifier <laughs> so uh, anyways the um, emoji 12 if you like emojis in the new keyboard with new uh, little um, designs and, and, and tweak designs of sort of some sort uh, still in beta apparently uh, high DPI improvements so the advanced scaling settings uh, you know there's uh, the uh, settings where you can actually ask and, and they're working on that you know because some people were kind of wondering why um, you know sometimes the um, the apps look blurry or, or, or not right well, there's of course something called display scaling on high DPI screens. And uh, what this does is that it, of course, enables that to uh, actually work better. So they're tweaking that uh, also. Um, so let Windows try to fix apps so they're not blurry. Trying to make it a little better. So they want to actually see and if you, you can use this functionality, they want to know if um, you know you like it if it helps you out in, in, in what's happening and um, you know if there's uh, something they can do to make it better. If you are using Application Guard in the browser uh, for Microsoft Edge, there's new management for uh, Enterprise that lets you use, um, use or manage the camera and microphone while browsing uh, through the Application Guard security. So that's Another setting you need, of course, to have privacy um, of camera and microphone settings set up correctly for the application guard. But you'll have uh, camera and microphone if you have that activated. Japanese IME or their you know language and uh, the code behind it uh, tweaking. And finally, if you have an Amazon Alexa. Uh, there's integration, of course, of Cartana plus Amazon Alexa. What happens is you can open Cortana from your Alexa device or you can open Alexa from your Cortana device. So they want you to try it out. So uh, the commands are, hey Cortana, open Alexa. Or um, on the, the Amazon Echo, you just say, Alexa, open Cortana. And apparently they... Uh, they should interact with each other on if they're on the same uh, Wi-Fi network. So um, that's pretty much what's happening right now. So apart from that, like I say, apart from activation issues here that you see on my screen, no real problem. No, uh, you know, it seems to be a very, very stable um, Windows 10 operating system. I have no issues, but of course, some of you might have some. I uh, see that some of you are having problems. Uh, from time to time due to uh, you know install problems and so on and you know I mean this very very long install time at the beginning is kind of a little annoying I, I kind of uh, wish that it's gonna come back to normal at some point and of course I'll keep you up to date with the activation bug I am getting here uh, so that's pretty much what's changed here and um, of course uh, we're moving ahead which is still you know far from the uh, next release and we don't even have the October 2018 update, which is in itself a pretty big joke right now. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.